Hello everyone, Sarah here again and it's great to be back with you. Today we're exploring Daniel's story. Daniel was someone who was brave, someone who loved God and someone who loved to pray. I wonder, what do you know about prayer? Do you ever pray? Praying involves talking to God, maybe with words, maybe with thoughts, maybe with actions. And that's what Daniel loved to do. And we're going to hear about his story today. You've got me, you've got Hannah around, you've got Dan, you've got Helen. And together we're going to look into Dan's, Daniel's story and see something about prayer and try it ourselves. Because praying is fab. Meet Daniel. Daniel works for the king. King Darius. Daniel liked his job, but Daniel loved God. One day, the king made a law. The law was, you must pray to me, your king. You must not pray to God. Hmm. Well, Daniel loved God. Daniel loved praying to God, talking to him about lots of different things. So Daniel was brave and Daniel kept on praying. Hmm. So Daniel got into trouble, big trouble. The punishment for disobeying the king was to be thrown to the lions. And we all know that lions can be very fierce and dangerous. King Darius watched Daniel being sent to the lions and said, I hope your God can save you. And you know what? He did. The next morning when King Darius looked into the lion's den, there was Daniel, safe and sound. God had protected him. He'd closed the mouths of the lions. Wow! King Darius was amazed. King Darius realised people should pray to God and not to him. So King Darius changed the law. Pray to God, people. He listens, he helps. And Daniel went back to work for the king. Daniel liked working for the king. Daniel loved God. And so Daniel kept on praying. And now, so did lots of other people too. The story of Daniel shows us that prayer can be really powerful, but sometimes it's not that easy to know how to start. So this week we've made something really simple that can help you to get going with praying. We've made prayer sticks. All you need is a jar of some kind and um, lollipop sticks or little bits of card would work as well. And then all you need to do is write on the lollipop sticks people or things that you would like to pray for. So when you want to pray, all you need to do is get a stick out the jar and get started. Oh, Hannah, thanks for that idea. Look, I've got to go at making my own little prayer pot and here are my prayer sticks. Should we see who's in them? Oh, look, Hannah's name's on it. I could pray for Hannah today. Talk to God in words and actions. Two of my favourite words when I pray are thanks and help. So let's try this. Hannah, what can I say to God about Hannah? God, Hannah's fab, thanks for her. Oh, can you help her, please? Can you help her to be healthy? Can you help her to... Uh, I think she's having a bit of a break this week. So, oh, can you help her have a rest and have a bit of a break? Or, and can you help her know she, that you love her? I think it's really good for people to know God loves her. But God, thanks for Hannah. She's fab. Amen. Oh, that was good. That was one prayer stick. I wonder what my next one is. I'm off to go and have a look at another one. Maybe you can do a bit of a fidget while I'm gone.
Hello everybody, it's lovely to be back for fidget time today. In our story, we learnt about Daniel, who prayed, and I wonder if he used his hands to pray. I wonder if he prayed like that, with his eyes closed. Or I wonder if he prayed like that, with his hands out, like he was holding a really big present or a really big box from God. But whatever he did with his hands, we can do lots of things with our hands. They're pretty amazing. They help us eat, they help us pick up things, they help us write. I wonder how we can use our hands today. Can you wave? Hi everybody! And I wonder if today, or over the next few days, when you see people passing your house, you could wave and smile and say hello and cheer them up. Do you think you could do that? What else could we do with our hands? We could clap when we're happy to say that we're happy we could clap. I wonder if you've been out in your streets or at your doors clapping for our carers and for our teachers and for everybody who helps keep us safe at the moment. So we can clap. We could do counting games, couldn't we? We could do one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. We could do it really fast and get our fingers in a muddle, but they'd get a really big exercise, wouldn't they? So we've got clapping, we've got waving, we could play a game. I don't know if you've ever played rock, paper, scissors, but the way you play it is I say rock, paper, scissors, we have our hands in our fist, and when I've said those three words, we do one of those shapes. So we either do a rock, we either do paper, or we either do scissors. So shall we play that together? And then we don't know who will win. It's very exciting. So rock, paper, scissors. <gasps> I've got scissors. They would cut paper. If you had paper, I would have won. Let's do it again. Rock, paper, scissors. <gasps> I've got a sheet of paper. So that would wrap up a rock that would win. Best of three. Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, rock. Oh, but if you were scissors, they would have broken on the rock. So you would have won. I wonder if you can play that game with your family today and see who wins. We could have both won there and we'd never know. So think of all the amazing things we can do to wiggle and get our hands exercising. So we could wave goodbye and I hope to see you soon. Bye! So we can talk to God in words and actions. All those hands from Helen was fantastic. Hey, talking of actions, Dan's got the song for us. It's the one we did a couple of times ago. And you'll notice that I'm doing some actions as well. So maybe you could copy me and join in as we sing about God being the king of the giants, king of the lions, and all the other actions too. Come on, dance around and see if you can join in as we sing. I was the king of the Giants, my God's the king of the lions. My God's the king of the creatures of the deep. My God's the king of me. Heard the story about my friend King Dave. I wouldn't let the giant stand in his way. He said, Hand me my sling, cause he's not that tall. Cause my God is bigger and I'm watching for. Cause my God's the king of the Giants, my God's the king of the lions, my God's the king of the creatures of the deep, my God's the king of me. Have you heard the one about this guy called Dan? He was the mighty holy praying man. He said, thrown to the den of the scary beasts, but God saved the hero from the lion's teeth. My God's the king of the Giants, my God's the king of the lions, my God's the king of the creatures of the deep, my God's the king of me. This is my God's the king of the giants, my God's the king of the lions, my God's the king of the creatures of the deep, my God's the king of me. This is more than history, he will do the same for me. Like Jonah and the whale I see, and I'm lost and afraid, alone in the dark you're with me. You're with me Cause my God's the king of the giants My God's the king of the lions My God's the king of the creatures of the deep My God's the king of me My God's the king of the giants My God's the king of the lions My God's the king of the creatures of the deep My God's the king of me
And so Daniel's story, Daniel loved to pray and he kept on praying, although it was hard. It was hard because people around him weren't praying. It was hard because I think people around him thought he was daft for praying. And it was hard because now there was a rule, a law that said you'll get into trouble if you pray. But Daniel still kept on praying. He prayed because he loved God. He prayed because he trusted God. He prayed because he knew it would get God involved in his life. Praying's not always easy. I sometimes struggle to pray. But I try. Sometimes I think in my head. I think my thoughts to God and I talk to him. Sometimes I say words out loud. Things like the grace that we say at Messy Church, I speak them. Sometimes I do use actions as well. I might sit down. I might put my hands up, I might do lots of things. Sometimes I have to admit I, can, I dance to show God that I'm happy. You see, and when I pray, I know that that's me sharing my life with God in a way that I can share God's life in my life. Now, Daniel, well, that was amazing that God saved him from the lions and did something dramatic. But God did other things with Daniel's prayer. He kept him strong and kept him healthy even though he was in a difficult situation. I think also he probably gave him some peace and a sense of okayness, although life was tough. I think Daniel still had to do quite a lot of waiting. And sometimes I think Daniel will have found that talking to God didn't always cause dramatic things to happen. But Daniel kept on praying and I keep on praying, even though at times I see things around that are frustrating and that I want to change straight away. Praying doesn't always make amazing happen. things happen straight away. Praying sometimes just helps me be strong to keep going. But praying does always make sure that God's involved in everything. And I know God loves me. Daniel knew God loved him. And we also know that God loves the people we love. So praying, talking to God in words and in actions, sharing our help, sharing our thanks, sharing our wow, even sharing our no's with God, is what praying is about. And that way, we share our lives with God who loves us and God shares his life with us. It might not be lions that we have to face. There's quite a lot of challenges at the moment. Maybe we can pray for ourselves and for others using the pot that Hannah's helped us make. Remembering that God wants to be part of our lives. And prayer is a good way for that to happen. Daniel was brave and I hope you can be brave this week in the challenges that you face. And remember, put those names in a pot and pray. Talk to God about the people who are in them because God loves those people just like he loves you. So now we can pray using words and actions. Here we go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore.